everybody. How you doing? I'm down at the warehouse. Pandora's box. Have you been here? No, you haven't been here. I've been here though. And uh, you can see it's our recording room, which a lot of you have probably seen. Uh, but I wanted to talk about some of my guitars that I've used over the years, because it's, each one has kind of an interesting story. So this one right here is a very sort of high-tech, modern guitar. It's made with a lot of composite materials, and it's, uh, you know, a lot of science or whatever goes into it. So I use this a lot on the road. This one here, <clears throat> this was made for me by a guy from Australia. And he actually had seen a picture of me on the cover of Honkin' on Bobo using a bass that he made, and he freaked out. So he let me know that he was just completely, totally freaked out that I was holding that bass on the cover of a record. So he made this one for me, and he came all the way from Australia to right here, this room right now, to get it to me. The guy's insane. Anyway, back in the 70s, I decided I wanted to get sort of a, you know, a, a wilder sound. So I used this one, I used this one on rocks. Um, this isn't tuned. And, uh, but then, you know, I'm thinking this thing is like, it's, it's crazy. It's the, the sound is too dirty. So I want to get a cleaner sound. So, um, I got this one. Again, very high tech. These are made from some animal or maybe they came from an oil wall or something. I'm not sure, but uh, it's a really nice one. I used that a lot over the years. And, uh, and this one is one of my favorites, one of my absolute favorites. It's, um, it's just got that vintage classic thing in it, and it sounds incredible. You know, so anyway, those are uh, some of my favorite bases, and stick around, I'll probably have some more.